this time I want to update a very interesting finding. And this particular dragon fruit, I think is a, I got it as an AX, but the, I, when they have fruit, it's clearly not AX. And uh, the flower, the, the fruit, the color and the flesh color are very similar to uh, Cassie Van Arun and our paste, the bricks number are similar to Cassie Van Arun also. So I think this is a Cassie Van Arun. This particular fruit, why is interesting? Because this is a second flower open this year. Uh, although the flower bud was uh, spotted first on Pelora, but this uh, Cassie Van Arun, I have two flowers. Uh, I don't know where's the other one. Uh, they have flower but later than Pelora, but the flower take less time to open. So this one and the other one was the first flower to open. And at that time, I don't have any fresh pollen from this year. So the first, the very first flower, I was pollinated from stored pollen from last year for eight months. And that one was uh, aborted. When this one's open, the Pelora, flower also open the same night. Plora is 4N Gino, which one means they have four copies of e each chromosome. But this one is, uh, is 2N Gino, has two copies of each chromosome. So I, on paper, they are not compatible. But that time I had no pollen. So what the heck, I just pollinated by a poll uh, pollen from Plora. But you can see it clearly is set fruit. That's a really very surprise. I checked the, the articles from the internet. This says the 4N paternal pollen pollinated 2N maternal flower sometimes can set fruit, but the, the chances are much smaller than 2N to 2N. So this is a surprise. So we'll see how I'm going to keep this, keep on this fruit. I'm going to go their seeds to see what kind of uh, offspring they can get. Most likely they will be a triploid. It will be interesting to introduce the plora feature into uh, these guys. But the problem is um, Casey Van Arun is not red flesh dragon fruit. Its flesh is kind of a pink and it, uh, the color of the fruit is not red. So the best hybrid between Pelora and the red skin, red fruit will be ideal to have uh, some interesting uh, offspring. So this time when my uh, physical graffiti have the flower, I pollinate it by the stored Pelora pollen, but you can see they doesn't seem to working. It's, it's, it's going to be aborted. So the, the chance for them set fruit by this hybrid uh, are slim. So I'm in the luck to have this one set the fruit. So this is going to be my next year's uh, project to grow up this triploid hybrid, see what I can get. So now I know that the Pelora can pollinate uh, the two N dragon fruit. See this another Pelora. Uh, flower bud and when this one opens I'm going to save some uh, pollen to pollinate some other uh, large red dragon fruit like uh, American Beauty or try this physical graffiti again to see if we can get some interesting hybrid from the from the crossing and also uh, another interesting one is um, is this flower this is uh, my old hi hybrid between uh, Casey Van Arun and uh, Trisha. And this one is uh, uh, grafted on different uh, rootstock. Uh, the rootstock is uh, seen in Spanish. And those, those are the ones grafted, the uh, same seedlings grafted on enemies white. Those are, even last year, they already had fruit. But the fruit looks kind of ugly. They are, they are not uh, red and the flesh is uh, white. I'm still hoping from this group of hybrid, we can get some red skin and the red flesh. And um, 
as I showed you before, I do have some seedlings from this set of hybrid that was a red flesh and a red, red fruit, but the flower is a white. For some reason, all the white flower red fruit are located on the other uh, greenhouse and everything in this greenhouse are red flower and green fruit and white flesh. And seems this one from the flower, but you can tell it's uh, going to be a red, a red flower. So I'm going to take a picture when they flower later at night. I'm going to uh, follow this one to see if the fruit is a red fruit or white fruit. Okay, this is a flower. Okay, so it is a pink flower. It is pink. I'm going to pollinate it. And uh, that's about it for this update. Thank you for watching.